South Koreans are preparing themselves for war without the firearms. At this laboratory, they're arming themselves with knowledge against bedbugs. As small as they are unwelcome, bedbug infestations have been surging with the rebound in post-pandemic travel. Since November, official data showed over a hundred cases of the blood-sucking pests. Jang Yong-jin is the CEO of a pest control company. He's proving just how difficult bedbugs are to exterminate. The cost of pest control measures can rack up quickly, as a single treatment is often not enough. But infestations are only becoming more common, especially in places with dense populations, frequent travelers, and mass transit. They can easily slip through the cracks, as these students are finding out. Twenty-nine-year-old Kang Jae-gu is a self-described insectophobe. 제가 사계절 내내 모기장 치고 잘 만큼 벌레에 굉장히 민감한데요. But Kang used his fear to come up with a solution. When the outbreaks began, Kang joined the fight the best way he knew how, through data. The blockchain engineer has been mapping reported infestations on website bedbugboard.com. The interactive map shows approximated outbreaks across the country, as well as real-time news stories on all things bedbug. Visits to the site quickly snowballed. 첫날은 일단 40명이었고요. 왜냐면 지인들이 홍보해 줘서 40명이었는데 그 다음 날부터 되게 확 늘었어요. 그 다음 날에는 2만 5천 명 들어왔었어요. 그러다가 피크를 찍었던 찍었을 때는 한 4만 5천 명 정도, 5만 명 정도가 들어왔었고요. Bed bugs bite people to feed on their blood. The wounds can be itchy, but are otherwise usually harmless. But in some cases, they can cause rashes, anaphylaxis, and even depression. Exposure to bed bug droppings can also trigger asthmatic attacks. The Seoul city government said it would allocate 500,000 U.S. dollars to defend residents in vulnerable housing from the invasive pests. As for Kang, he says he plans to keep his website running until local outbreaks subside.